The Essential Phone is getting some attention within the developer community. So today I wanted to show you how to unlock the bootloader of the Essential Phone, the PH-1, so that you can do things like install TWRP, make Nandroid backups, install custom kernels and even custom ROMs on your device. Now before we begin, we're, you're going to need to have some things like ADB and Fastboot tools set up on your computer. And if you're not sure of how to do that or how to install the USB drivers, be sure to check the full tutorial that will be linked below this video, as I'll have all of these steps included there. And before we begin, we're going to need to go into the settings. Since you will have already had developer options enabled, the developer mode, so that you can enable OEM debugging mode. You're going to also want to go into the developer options section and tap on the allow OEM unlocking option. Once that's done, we're just going to go ahead and power off the device. We'll just wait till the essential phone is completely powered off. Then we're going to boot the device up into fast boot mode. If, again, if you're unsure of how to do this, be sure to check the full tutorial as I'll have links and step-by-step -step guides how to do all of this. And once you're in fast boot mode, we can then connect the USB cable to the device and turn our attention either to the Windows PowerShell or the command prompt. So now again we just need to open up a command prompt or a Windows PowerShell and again this needs to be in the same directory as the ADB and Fastboot tools. And then we're just going to type out the command fastboot space flashing space unlock. With that done, we can just press enter on the keyboard. And then we'll turn our attention back to the phone. Now, as soon as you execute that fast boot space flashing space unlock command on the command prompt or PowerShell, your phone is going to display this message. And it's asking you, are you sure if you want to unlock the bootloader? It's telling you what this means, that you can install a custom OS, as well as modified system images, and that it will also delete all of your personal data from your device, aka doing a factory reset. So from here we just want to press the volume down button or volume up button until the yes option is highlighted, and then we're going to press the power button to select that option. Once the bootloader is unlocked, we're going to get that warning each time the device boots up. And that's just to, to demonstrate to you that the bootloader is, is unlocked. This would be very important if you bought the phone from, say, a retailer because whenever you buy the phone, the bootloader should not be unlocked because you want to make sure that you're running the official software. Once that process is going on, we can unplug the USB cable. We're just gonna wait till the device boots back up. Again, it just did a factory reset. So the amount of time that it takes to boot up into this first Android activation screen will be longer than normal.
And there you go. That is how to unlock the bootloader of the Essential Phone PH-1.